In this latest video from the Autopilot 123 series, I'm going to demonstrate Autopilot's new pattern focus strategy. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and how to best take advantage of it. You may have seen the Phantom 4's new Active Track feature, which allows you to actively follow and focus on a moving object just by drawing a rectangle around the object on the screen. While this feature is partially enabled by the upgraded camera of the Phantom 4, we wanted to start offering object recognition and tracking as a focus strategy with an autopilot for not only the Phantom 4, but for the Phantom 3 and the Inspire. Before we get started, let's define what pattern focus strategy provides and provide you some basic things that you'll need to know before you get started. First, realize that the pattern focus strategy can only focus on an object. It does not follow or allow an orbit around the object. Second, realize that pattern mode is never going to be as accurate as GPS tracking, particularly when the object is far away from the quadcopter. Third, if autopilot loses the object, there is currently no method to refine the object when lost. You'll need to reselect that focused object again. Fourth, Realize that the quality of the frame rate, which impacts the overall quality of the tracking, is highly dependent upon the iOS device that you're using. Ideally, the 6S Plus or the iPad Pro will give you the best results, even with an iOS device like the iPad Air 2, which works very well with all the other features, I've had minor tracking issues when testing. Overall, the best times to use the pattern strategy are on cases when you want to focus on something that is well contrasted to the background and not terribly far away from the quadcopter. In other words, pattern is not going to work well if you're wearing a green shirt standing on a lawn and the quad is 50 feet away. If possible, you are going to get better results if you use airspace and give the tracked object an external GPS device. However, in cases where you want to focus on an object that you can't do that, pattern will be an excellent option. Pattern is also going to work better if the moving object and the quadcopter are not moving very fast or making sharp direction changes. You should also be aware that flying with the Inspire 1 compared with the Phantom 3 or Phantom 4 can provide more flexibility as the gimbal can automatically adjust without needing to yaw the aircraft. In other words, you can use focus mode with the Inspire 1 and fly freely. With the Phantom 3, you can use focus mode, but you'll have to manually yaw the aircraft or use cruise mode. Let's get started. I'm going to do this first example using an Inspire 1 with an iPhone 6S Plus. I'm going to start by selecting focus mode. There are a few different strategy options and how you can initiate pattern strategy mode. If you start in subject focus mode, or really anything besides pattern or touch mode, pattern mode will automatically start when I draw a box on the screen. Second, I can actually start in pattern mode. However, I've found that when you start in pattern mode with the Inspire 1 and the 360 degree gimbal, Autopilot does such a good job at focusing in the original direction that you can get frustrated trying to get the camera to face the opposite direction. So for this example, I'm going to start in touch mode, which will allow me to tilt the gimbal around anywhere I want by touching on the screen. So now if I touch the flight dashboard in the bottom center of the screen, you can see that the aircraft is currently on the ground awaiting takeoff. I'm going to start the engage sequence here, click on checklist complete, then fixed operator, then continue, and autopilot will count down and then engage autopilot. Because I'm in touch mode, the camera is going to be looking straight forward. So I'm going to take off, and then I'm actually going to use touch mode by putting two fingers on the screen and pushing to the right so that I can turn the camera to in the direction to the object that I want to be focusing on, in this case, this car. Once I've done this, I'm going to switch to pattern mode by touching the three lines in the bottom right of the screen, switching the strategy from touch to pattern and go back to the screen. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle around the item that I want to focus on. Once I've done this, Autopilot will maintain focus upon this item no matter where I fly. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see that Autopilot is automatically adjusting not only the gimbal or the pitch of the camera, but also adjusting the yaw of the camera 
to maintain focus upon the card that I've locked in on. Another suggestion, while you can see that Autopilot in Pattern Mode does a pretty good job of tracking this car, which is relatively small to the screen, Pattern Mode is going to do much better at a larger object, something that's an eighth or even a quarter to the size of the screen. If you want to select another object, you can simply draw another box around it, or if you want to stop focus, you can either tap on the cancel in the center of the rectangle or swipe up anywhere outside of the rectangle. Remember that if you want to focus on an object in the opposite direction, you may find it useful to tap on the three lines in the bottom right hand corner and switch back to touch mode, rotate the camera around and then switch back to pattern mode. Here's one more example, a little bit different, this time with a Phantom 3 and I'm using the iPad Air instead of the iPhone 6S Plus. In this case, uh, I'm going to assume I've already taken off, I've set the focus strategy to pattern, but I haven't yet engaged the aircraft. Because it's the Phantom 3, I can fly around and manually yaw the aircraft to get to a point where I want to be. Now again, I'm going to draw a rectangle around the item, in this case this truck, that I want the quadcopter to focus on. And if you notice, as I move around, Autopilot does track the item pretty well, but it's not adjusting the gimbal until after I start the engage sequence. So I'm going to start the engage sequence, click on checklist complete. I was already flying, so I'm going to use the previous alt altitude reference. I'm then going to hit continue and count down and engage the aircraft, and autopilot will start to immediately start to focus on that truck. Now because I'm in focus mode, not cruise mode, autopilot's taking care of automatically tilting the gimbal, but as I go left and right, I'm going to have to manually take care of yawing the aircraft. I hope you found this quick video helpful. Any questions or thoughts, please post them in the forum. Good luck and safe flying.